Good morning, children. Welcome back. So, did you all go through the lesson, children? Were you able to find out the answers for the questions which I gave you yesterday? Fine. Come. Let's discuss the answers now. Question number one. Mention the word which is used in the text to denote a dull routine. And the answer is mundane. Question number two. Based on what is the Tharnetho Fair celebrated? And the answer is Draupati's Swayamvara. Question number three. If a Rabari woman wears a dash skirt, it is understood that she is married. And the answer is black, black skirt. Okay. And question number four. Mention the adjective given for the word ornaments in the text. And the answer is glittering, glittering ornaments. Okay. And question number five. What is the meaning of incessant? And the answer is constant or you can say continuous. Fine. So children, I am very sure that you all got your answers correct. So shall we begin our today's session? In today's session, we will begin with the fifth paragraph of the Tharnet Affair. So let's start now. The Tharnet Mela covers a large part of the Tharnetar village with a huge number of stalls put up to sell beautiful local handicrafts unavailable elsewhere along with ethnic jewellery, statues of deities and traditional attire with tiny mirrors embroidered into the clothing. There are also merry-go-round rides photographer's stalls, magic shows and tattoo artists who attract a large variety of visitors. So children, the Tarneta Fair covers a huge portion of the village with many stalls that are put up to sell lovely local made handicrafts. You see children, these kind of handicrafts will not be available anywhere else. And you know, along with the traditional jewelries, even statues of deities. Deities are nothing but you can say god or goddess. Okay, so statues of deities and traditional attire. Attire means clothes. So traditional attires. What kind of traditional attires? with the tiny mirror works and embroidery works on them. So these things also will be available here. And we can also enjoy different fun rides like merry-go-rounds. And we can also see small photo studios, magic shows, and you can see even tattoo art artists there. Okay. And these are the main attractions for the large variety of visitors and tourists here. Okay, children. The fair is held for three days every year during the Hindu calendar. Dates of Badarwa Sud, 4th, 5th and 6th. During the Gregorian calendar, months August to September. And children, as we read, the Tharnetho Fair is held for three days every year during the Hindu calendar, the 4th, the 5th and 6th of Badarwa Sod, which comes in the month of August to September, according to the Gregorian calendar, uh, the irregular calendar which we follow. Okay, children. The Tharnetho Fair is held 8 kilometers from the town of Thangar in Surendranagar district. This is the nearest railway station on the 
Ahmedabad Hapa Broad Gauge Line, the nearest town with the road transportation to other places is Chotila, 25 kilometers from Thangar, which is connected by ST buses from Rajkot, 75 kilometers, Jamnagar, 162 kilometers, Ahmedabad, 196 kilometers, or Porbandar, 252 kilometers from Babnagar. Chotila can be reached either via Rajkot, a trip of 264 kilometers, or via Botad, a shorter journey of 190 kilometers. Chotila, Thangar, and Tarnetha are well connected by ST buses and other modes of transportation. The nearest airport is Rajkot, 75 kilometers away. And children, I think uh, you can easily follow this paragraph. So, the Tarnetha Fair is held 8 kilometers from the town named Thangad, which is in Surendranagar district. And this is the nearest railway station on the Ahmedabad Hapa broad gauge line. So, this is the railway line. Okay. And the nearest town with road transportation to other places is Chotila, which is 25 kilometers from Thangad, and it is connected by ST buses from Rajkot, which is 75 kilometers, from Jamnagar, which is 162 kilometers, from Ahmedabad, which is 196 kilometers, from Porbandar, which is 252 kilometers. Okay, and from Bhavnagar, Chotila can be reached either via Rajkot, which is of 264 kilometers, or if you want to go via Botad, it will be a little shorter journey, which is of 190 kilometers. Fine. And Chotila, Thangad, and Tarnetha, these three towns are well connected by. Uh, ST buses and even other modes of transportation, right? And you know, the nearest airport is Rajkot, which is 75 kilometers away. Understand, children? We got to know now about what and all we can enjoy at the Tarneta Fair and when Tarneta Fair is celebrated and how to reach the fair by the roadways or railways or even by airways, right? Now, we have something more interesting to know about the fair. Let's see what's that. The Kohli's of Saurashtra initiated the custom of embroidering umbrellas, which are exquisitely elaborate in terms of embellishments. The embroidery of each is unique and rises from the edges all the way to the top with beadwork and patchwork in the design as well. Small colorful handkerchiefs are attached all around the edge to attract further attention. These men spend over a year embroidering their umbrellas. Their intention is to entice the girls with their art, clothes and headgear and impress them so that they can propose them for marriage. It's not surprising that before the fair is over, they usually meet the lady of their choice. Now children, let's learn more about the umbrellas. Actually, the Kohli community of Saurashtra initiated, initiated means started, so they started the custom of embroidering umbrellas. So these umbrellas are exquisitely, exquisitely means extremely beautiful and delicate. Okay, so these umbrellas are exquisitely elaborate in terms of embellishments. Embellishments, you can say something added to something else to make it more beautiful. Okay, so... The Kohli community of Saurashtra started the 
uh, custom of embroidering the umbrellas, decorating the umbrellas. And these umbrellas are exquisitely elaborate in terms of embellishments, means you can say decorations. Okay, right. And the embroidery work of each umbrella will be unique. How will they be unique? It rises from the edges and reaches the top. It is decorated with beadwork and patchwork. I hope you must be knowing what is called beadwork and patchwork. You can see the garba dresses which we wear. No, it will be full of beadwork and patchworks, isn't it? So, along with that, even small handkerchiefs are attached all around the edges and to give further attention or to give further uh, attraction. Okay, children. Now, you know, these men spend almost a year to beautify the umbrellas with the embroidery work. So, they are spending almost a year, full year. You know why they take such pains? Because they just want to attract, attract the girls. Their only intention, intention here means you can say they aim. Their only aim is to entice, entice, attract. Okay, so their only intention is to attract the girls with their art, with their dresses or clothes and their headgear and just to impress them so that they can propose them for marriage. Okay, so and you know, it's not surprising at all that the boys usually get the lady of their choice before the fair is over. Okay, children. So, children, I hope you all must have enjoyed the lesson and even understood the lesson very well. Am I right? Okay. So, now, uh, in this chapter, in the textual exercises, we have a um, new word for us, which is itinerary. Itinerary means, maybe I uh, can say, a planning for a journey. Okay, when we have a plan for a journey or, or for a trip. We'll have to plan everything from the beginning, the day of starting the journey and where to first reach, what time to leave, where to stay and what and all to be seen, no? about the sightseeing and again about uh, the returning. All these planning will have to be made when we, have, when we plan for a tour or a picnic, isn't it? And that is called itinerary, okay? And you will be having an exercise even in the worksheet to prepare an itinerary for yourself. Okay? Yes. Now, if when you go through the worksheets or when you go through the uh, classwork solutions, you will get every idea about that. Okay? So, children, now here we have come to the end of the first semester. Now, we are ready for the examinations. No, now, don't waste your time. Keep on studying, practice uh, whatever we have learned and please have some writing practice also. Okay, I wish you all the best children. God bless you all. Take care and bye-bye.